It's weirdly comforting to know that petty workplace drama goes on in Hollywood just as much as it does everywhere else. I hate you. I hate you. I wish I was never artificially created in a lab. Oh, Scott, that hurts, Daddy, when you say that, honestly. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most difficult actors to work with. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. It's exciting. For this list, we're looking at those actors that have an infamous reputation for being difficult to be around for any number of reasons. You should have learned your place on the f***ing basketball court. We'll be discussing their workplace ethic, at least how it's represented in the media, and how it creates controversy for their fellow workers, no matter how famous they are. You know, dirt cleans off a lot easier than blood, Quintus. Number 10, Charlie Sheen. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Charlie Sheen's personal life has been the subject of controversy for many years now, and this includes the incident where he accidentally shot his fiancée, Kelly Preston. When she lifted uh, my pants off the scale, yeah, it fell out of the back of Jean's pocket and hit the floor and shot a bullet right between her legs. And his infamous drug addiction. You borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Therefore, it's not too much of a stretch to imagine just how difficult it would be to work with him. He also tells me Chuck Lorre is a loser and a clown and a whole lot worse than that. What with his allegedly constant substance abuse and disparaging comments about Chuck Lorre that ultimately got him fired from his career rejuvenating role on Two and a Half Men. Hello? Oh, hey, Alan. Come on in. <laughs> Why don't you come in here? I can't. I lost my key. We can't blame him entirely, though, we guess, since he's a freaking rock star from Mars. So, you know, different customs and all. I'm tapped out, Mark. American Express got a hitman looking for me. Number nine, Shia LaBeouf. No. No, 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 no! Anyone who wears a paper bag over his or her head to a black tie event is probably not all there, if you know what we mean. After actor Shia LaBeouf turned up wearing a paper bag over his head with the words, I am not famous anymore. Such seems to be the case for Shia LaBeouf, who seems like a nice enough guy, but underneath it all, he also can transform into a giant douche, it seems. Okay, here's the dream. Your B minus. Dream gone. Shia is notorious for his temper and belligerent attitude, even leaving the Broadway production of Orphans that he was slated to star in due to constant bickering and fights with his co-stars, especially Alec Baldwin. Now, Baldwin just recently responded via the New York Times, stating he was very disappointed. And regarding of what people feel about the events that happen, you expect communications to be private because everyone wants this process to be as collegial as possible. Some say he was actually fired, though. No sacrifice, no victory. Number eight, Edward Norton. I'm gonna teach you a real lesson now, mother Edward Norton is one of the finest actors working today, so it comes as no surprise that he takes his craft extremely seriously. Quit your crying, I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. You little sissy, you make me sick. We repeat, extremely seriously. In fact, Norton has a reputation for shadow directing. If you come near Danny again, I will feed you your Heart, Cameron. He sat in on the editing for American History X because he didn't trust Tony Kay and often clashed with the studio during The Incredible Hulk over creative differences. Me deixo con fome. Não van quando eu fome. While the people behind the film said the dispute was blown out of proportion in the media and a promo tour was planned for the movie, Norton didn't do any promotion following its release. So, yes, he is that one employee who tells everyone else how to do his or her jobs. You look at me when I'm talking to you, you bitch. Mr. Stampler, you baby, come in here. Hey. Order, Come you want to Let's play rough. Number seven, Jennifer Lopez. My reputation apparently is pretty solid, so... We hesitate to even call J-Lo an actor, as her latest movies are questionable at best. It's turkey time. Huh? Jennifer Lopez is well known for her diva behavior, and she doesn't care who knows it. You did not just poke me! Don't you touch me, you two-bit tramp! Oh! She's been said to often make ridiculous demands, like five-star hotel rooms to stay in and her own private plane so she can travel in true diva style. 
all on someone else's dime, of course. She was supposed to be going to India to perform, but she asked for a private plane. She also asked for an exorbitant amount, that's what they're saying, of hotel rooms for her huge entourage. And the kicker? She refuses to perform if her demands are not met. Hollywood, take that money and hire a better actress with it. Gobble, gobble. Number six, Katherine Heigl. Yeah, you think that's funny? Yeah, I do. Katherine Heigl has clearly not heard the expression, don't bite the hand that feeds you, as that is exactly what she seems to do on a regular basis. It's just a theory, one of many. After breaking into the mainstream with Knocked Up, Heigl went on record saying that she thought the movie was, quote, a little sexist and had a hard time enjoying it. She was complaining about uh, how the movie depicted women in a very negative way and that she didn't like it and she was a little ashamed of even starring in that movie. This was of course after she filmed the movie and received her paycheck. She wasn't a fan of Grey's Anatomy's writing either, and she supposedly annoys co-workers on a daily basis due to wardrobe grievances and constant script complaints. It's just a job. Mm. It's just a job. It's the thing you come home from, not the thing you come home to. And if you lose your job, you get another one. Number five, Bruce Willis. You ready? Just take a look at the stoic tough man that is Bruce Willis. Do you even listen to yourself sometimes? Does that seem like a fun guy to be around? You're not good. Let's take him for a drag. According to Kevin Smith, who directed him in Cop Out, he is actually a nightmare to work with. I've never seen that movie. He called his experience working with Willis, quote, soul crushing. And many other directors have complained about Willis's unwarranted and misguided input regarding their directing style. I want to see the expression on your face. You want to see the expression on my face? The expression you're going to see on my face is f you. I hate anniversaries. Although he was working on Cop Out, and that would probably put anyone in a bad mood. You should know better. Number four. Mike Myers. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Pick your jaw up off the floor. We weren't expecting it either, but apparently this funny man is not nearly as fun as his characters. <laughs> that is one crazy getup you got there, fella. Hey, thank you. He's constantly called, quote, moody and temperamental, and many complain about the degree of control Mike Myers feels he should be able to exhibit over the cast and crew. It's a very groovy time. <laughs> many executives in the industry have simply refused to work with him, and rumor has it that he even had a crew member fired for looking him in the eyes on a particularly bad day. Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. Number three, Lindsay Lohan. You're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. Everyone's favorite adorable actress from Mean Girls and other movies has had quite the infamous party streak, and it's interfered with her acting career on countless occasions. Great, I'm being carjacked by my own car. Like Charlie Sheen, Lohan does not know how to quit, and her partying and lavish lifestyle have apparently often resulted in Lilo being late for work and or too hungover to concentrate, if she shows up at all. Do you hear that? It's nothing. The Canyon's director, Paul Schrader, has called her attitude, quote, unspeakable. And quite frankly, it's not that difficult to see why. I don't, uh, what happened? I don't get, I don't understand. What do you mean something happened? Number two, Val Kilmer. It's the car, right? Chicks love the car. Depending on who you ask, you might hear that this guy is a bit mentally unstable. Chair. Many of his ex-girlfriends have spoken of his disgusting and eccentric behavior, and this is further mirrored by Joel Schumacher, who directed Kilmer in Batman Forever, calling his behavior towards a crew member, quote, rude, childish, and inappropriate. Are you yesterday's news, Bruce? Kilmer supposedly fights with camera operators and the wardrobe department on set, and he even walked off the set of a hamburger commercial when he was 12 years old. Oh. 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 I give all my gifts. You really gotta watch for those warning signs. Until one terrible morning you wake up and realize that revenge has become your whole life. And you won't know why. You can't understand. Before we have a hard time with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. You can stop trying to read my mind, sugar. <sighs> You're never going to get anything from me while I'm like this. I mean, no one makes them up. They seem to make themselves up. I 
not in the business. I am the business. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Number one, Marlon Brando. Now that's how I'm gonna clear the table. You know that one employee who just doesn't give a crap, always does whatever he wants, and never listens to the boss? In Hollywood, that man was Marlon Brando. Those kind of words have been on your tongue and your sister's tongue is too much around here. Who do you think you are, a pair of queens? Brando was notorious for ignoring direction, and he wouldn't even memorize his lines, preferring instead to just wing it during filming, write cue cards to leave somewhere off camera, or wear an earpiece. Look at yourself. I understand that I must be shocking to you. He was also deeply methodical about his acting, which greatly alienated many people when the cameras weren't rolling. Horror and moral terror are your friends. If they are not, then they are enemies to be feared. It must have worked, though, because Brando is known today as one of the greatest actors ever. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Do you agree with our list? If you are totally out of control, you're going to get yourself killed. What actor do you think has the most notoriously unpleasant streak? You know, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. For more friendly top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm the king around here, and don't you forget it. Mm -hmm.